Are you sick and tired of opponents spamming Madden 24 meta blitzes on you? Man, that's all you got is this blitz. That's all you got. Run something else. <laughs> Run something else and I guarantee, I guarantee I'll beat you. Cause all, all you're doing, you're doing right, right now, now is just smacking smack me in my face. face. I can't block this. I quit. Quit. In this video, we teach you how to block different types of blitzes in Madden 24. I will show you tips and tricks for blocking blitzes, and you'll see examples of how to block these meta Madden 24 blitzes. By the end of this video, you will be able to block blitzes effectively and improve your Madden 24 offensive game. Let's first look at ways to counter Madden 24 blitzes. One, slide protection. You can shift your offensive line towards the side where the blitz is coming from. Two, ID the mic. Identifying the middle linebacker as the mic or as the primary blitzer gives you a better pass protection. Three, using play action plays. Use play action plays to freeze defenders and create openings for your receivers. This gives you better pass protection. Lastly, if you don't have to pass, run the ball to the weak side of the blitz. Before we get into the tutorial, if you want to become a better player at Madden, subscribe. Let's do this together. Also, turn notifications on to not miss any new uploads. Let's break down the most popular blitz out right now. The Meta A Gap from Dollar 3-2. FS Zone Blitz is the play. This play can be found in the following playbooks. Okay, now this blitz has two setups. Okay, we have an offensive play where the running back is coming out of the backfield. He will block if there is some penetration from the defenders. So keep that in mind. But the setup is real simple. You want to make sure your blitzing safety is on the left side of the screen. Okay, then you just want to pinch your D-line. I move this linebacker, which is a safety, over next to this other linebacker. Okay, then I pass to me. Okay, as you see right here, that guy comes through untouched and can smack him in the face. If that running back doesn't notice him coming through, which he did there. The other setup you can do is you can pinch your D-line, pass commit, push him over here. And then you can use this guy right here. But when I use this guy, I like to rush towards this side of the line to make sure they're still um, coming over there. So I'll rush over here to open it up more for that guy. And you can put that guy in any type of zone you want. Just make sure you occupy that, uh, that side of the offensive line. What did I do? Make sure you occupy that side of the offensive line and your blitz will come in. So we can put him in a zone right here. Let's put him in a hook curl. And then when we hike the ball, we'll come down right here, just occupy, get back into coverage, smack him in the face. Real easy blitz. I'll leave the setup down in the description below for you guys if you didn't get it. But let's block it. Okay? Now, we'll try. First thing, we'll try to block the running back. Let's block the running back. Okay, we blocked the running back. Let's block the running back. And let's set our blitz up. Set our blitz up. And this is with a blocked running back, okay? Okay, let's see. You got a running back blocking? Oh, 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 oh no, didn't work. Let's block the running back and let's slide protect to the right. Block the running back. Slide protect to the right. Okay, set our blitz up. Blitz is set up. Okay, we slip protect and we block that running back to the right. Uh, a little bit better. A little bit better. A little bit better. Now let's show you how to block the blitz. Let's set the blitz up. Okay. Another thing I didn't go over the setup, but that's the setup I do. The other setup is just pinch that D line and pull this cornerback back out here. Okay, and then you can pass commit. But to block the blitz, okay. 
first we would slant our D line left or slide left because we know that that blitz is coming from the left side. Okay, it's a lot of people on the left side. If you were going to a run, you would see that that left side is overloaded. So that's where you always want to slide your line protection to. Okay, then next, you can ID the mic, this cornerback or this cornerback. Just as long as it's someone on the left, you're going to make your line look to the left or that running back. You can either block your running back or not. If you have more than five coming, I would block your running back. If you know it's only four or three, I mean four coming, you don't need to block your running back. We'll show you with the block running back and without a block running back. Right now it's gonna be without. Okay, as you see right here, it's important once that Blix is picked up, is to step up into the pocket. Do not float back, okay? Make sure you stay in the pocket the blitz will be picked up you slid protect to the left you id'd either one of those cornerbacks over there on the left because that's the heavy side of the blitz okay as you see the a gap is picked up okay everything is blocked we have that running back going out we do not float back because you'll get those block sheds this block shed right here by jones i think it is yes if we float back Jones is going to block shed and come right into us and smack us in the face. But we step up into that pocket, therefore Jones runs right into that guard again. Okay? By the time we get the ball off, at least three seconds, pass that ball, and you're good. Okay? Again, it's how to block the A-gap. Let's set the A-gap up. Let's set it up my way. Okay? You can either do it the way that everybody does it, or you can do it my way. Okay, now slide protect to the left. Let's block the running back this time. We'll block that running back. Slide protect to the left. Let's ID this cornerback, this slot cornerback this time. Okay, now one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Step up. We missed the pass, but as you see, we did have time. We did have time to get that pass off. Okay, that A gap did not just come through. That A gap would have been right there. Running back picked it up. We stayed right there in the pocket, and we were able to get that pass off, but it wasn't a complete pass, okay? I'll show you if you don't step up, okay? This is if you, let's set it up the way everybody online sets it up. This is if we do the slide protection, okay? And let's block this, let's do this one right here. We did the slide protection, let's block our running back. Okay, now we did everything. And the setup is going to be in the description below, guys. So if you don't get it, just check the video description below. Okay, let's just roll back. Let's keep going back. Here we keep going back. See how these block sheds come off? That's what you do not want to do. You want to stay in that pocket. Stay in that pocket, okay? Stay in the pocket. When you do that, the block sheds happen. Okay, that's what a lot of people do. You can pick the blitz up, but if you don't, Stay in that pocket. Look at me. Constantly moving back. The blitz is picked up. Even though 58, if we would have stayed in that pocket, this engage would not have happened. If you stay in that pocket, he has him blocked. But the more we step back, the more the engages, the disengages happen. And therefore, we're sacked. And then when we're running around trying to do stuff. So set up your slide protection. Step up into that pocket and stay in the pocket, okay? We'll do it one more time. Slide protect your line to the left. ID either one of these cornerbacks on the left, and we can block everybody. Let's stay right here. Let's step up into this pocket, throw a dot, complete a pass. Okay? Let's see how to block the other meta blitz. Now, right here, we have a shotgun play with the running back on the right. Okay? Now, this is DB Fire 2, another easy blitz with dual edge uh, pressure from those two slot corners. Uh, the setup is just pinch your D-line and then press the defense, pass commit if you want. And you can see right here, that blitz pretty much comes in. It's gonna come in untouched from either of those cornerbacks. Now, that's if we're letting the running back run out. The way to block this blitz, let's set it up again, okay? The way to block this blitz is one, we wanna block our running back. 
We do not have a tight end on the line. It's fine. We only they're only sending five. So you want to slide protect to the left because you want to pick up that blitzing slot corner. You want number 70 to pick up that guy. Okay. Next, we would ID who we want that running back to pick up, which is this other slot corner. Slide protect to the left, block your running back, ID that slot corner coming off that edge. And you see right here, we're going to have time to hit passes, get open. We're going to definitely have time. Those two edge blitzes will not, blitzers will not come untouched to smack your quarterback. Okay, as you see right here, we have a lot of time. Let's just look at the time. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, untouched. Look at this guy, 70. Slap protect to the left. See if he picks up that blitzing cornerback. Yes, he does. He, bit, he pick, picks up that blitzing cornerback. And then we have our running back is annihilates this one right here. He does a chop block. Totally gets him out of the play. He's down. Helping block other people. We step up into the pocket. Don't drift back. Step up into the pocket. Hit your open receiver. Okay? Just like that. Now, say, for instance, your running back is on the left. Okay? And they're running that DB fire. Okay? You want to slide protect to the right. Opposite of the side the running back is on, you want to block your running back, and then you want to ID this guy right here on that left side. You want your running back to pick that guy up, okay? And then we would call the play right here, and we're able to get passes off, but for some reason, uh, DJ Moore wants to be traded, okay? Let's run that again, okay? We set our blitz up real easy. It's just pitch that D-line and press. Let's move this guy over here. We have him on the right this time. Slap protect to the right. ID that blitzing corner. Make sure our guy picks it up. Just like that, guys. Just like that. Make a move on him. Make a move on him. Pick up yards and score touchdowns. Now, that's how you block it if your running back is in the center on the right or the left, if it's a DB fire or if it's the A gap. Before we get into blocking the spinner, all these you can audible to a run play, okay? Just make sure you max protect, okay? And you wanna run away from the heavy blitz side. So in this case, we have the two slot corners blitzing, so it doesn't matter where we run, but wherever gap we're running to, we wanna ID that guy, okay? And then you just take your time, let those blocks get out there. He'll get annihilated. That <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't think it was going to happen like that. But um, we audible to a run. So if it's that A gap, everything is coming on the left. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Cody Whitehair. Cody Whitehair must be working for an extension. But anyway, this is a blitz. This is going up against a blitz, and we just run the ball. We audible to a run. We might have to flip it or turn your run to go to the least blitzed side, okay? In the DB fire, it doesn't matter. But you ID that linebacker, and then you max protect, and you run that ball. You pick up yards. It's another great way to dominate guys you don't always have to pass against a blitz if you have like three or four yards and it's second down run the ball now this is spinner another meta blitz that a lot of people run this blitz sends a total of seven they usually use one of these linebackers so they're only sending six but if they're sending seven you have to set it up to block seven so we'll do the setup for this pinch your line same thing you can either do this or just run the blitz the way you want. Make sure you pass commit. Let's block this running back. And then let's just see how that comes in. Untouch, A gap, again, smack him in his face. All the setups for each one of the blitzes, guys, are in the description below, as long as, as well as how to block. Now, another great thing about uh, these ways to block blitzes is call play action plays. We went over how to slide protect, we went over how to run the ball. Another great thing is calling 
um, play action planes. Okay. As you see, we're going to call this play. And I'm just going to let you see how the play action gives you more time. You see right there, it just gives you a little bit more time. Those guys go after the running back. Now, another great thing about play action plays is if you put a zig route on the field and then you actually, uh, let's put the triangle on the zig route. And then let's, let's just reset. Let's put triangle on the zig route. Let's stop that play action, okay? Triangle on the zig. We'll stop the play action. I'll show you how this um, helps that blitz. Now, okay, if they don't pass commit, okay, those guys will go after the running back, okay? When you stop it, and I'm on PS5, so I'm pressing R2 as soon as the ball is hiked. R2, okay? We can hit circle or that zig route. Now, I'll show you the great thing about this. You can do this when people are blitzing you a lot. Have quick reads, quick routes, okay? And you can always stop a play action play. Pick a play action play. Now watch these blitzers. As long as they're not pass committed, look at everybody go after the running back, okay? Everybody kind of goes after the running back. They kind of go towards the running back. You think the running back, it kind of pauses. Now in the case of spinner where you're sending at least seven, you need to block seven. Let's set our blitz up, okay? Blitz is set up. We need to block everybody. We need to block the running back and the tight end. I would motion my running back over here. I would ID this guy, and I would slide protect to the right, okay? That's just how I do it. Everybody's picked up. We have an easy one play touchdown. As long as you have a fast receiver out here in this play, it's going to be destroying uh, spinning. Now, that user is going to follow triangle or circle, okay? So, say, for instance, they follow triangle or circle that time. We can set that blitz up again, okay? Now, we can block everybody, and then we can hit circle, okay? Let's slide protect to the... Let's bring him over. Let's slide protect to the right. Get him, ID him, let's hit circle real quick, okay? Just like that, guys. That's how you block those blitzes. And you do have that play action. So depending on who you want your running back to pick up, you tell him who he wants. you want him to pick up. And for instance, if we block the tight end and then we wanted our running back to pick this guy up, we're gonna slide protect to the left, okay? Let's set, set the blitz up, okay? Set up right there, and then we're gonna look for, we got everybody ID, let's look for circle again. Circle again, okay? Don't know if we had a lot of time on that one. I like that running back on the left side more, but let's look at the replay. These are how you block these blitzes, guys. And this translates to any blitz. As long as you know the heavy side, as long as you have routes on the field to beat these guys and you know how to slide protect, I teach you the basics of how to slide protect. Always slide protect to the heavy blitzing side. In a case where you have DB fires or two cornerbacks blitzing, always uh, slide protect to one side. Make sure your running back picks up that blitzing corner. Don't step out of the pocket. Always step into the pocket and you're good. Okay, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. Okay, we did have Cody Whitehair just let his guy go. Don't know why. Oh, he stepped over to pick up that blitzing guy. Okay, so we did have time to get a quick pass off. All right, so that's how you do it. And again, remember, this is DB Fire. Show you a great thing. We can always audible to a run. Like I said, you have less than five yards to go. Audible to that run, ID that linebacker, where you're going, max protect, and just beast. Okay, let's run that again. For some reason, DJ Moore does not want to block. Let's audible to that run, max protect, ID that guy, and then DJ Moore picked that block up, and we just beast, and we just beast. Now that you know how to stop every blitz and how to block every blitz, your passing game 
will improve, guaranteed. Improve your offense, take it to a whole nother level by watching this video right here. A great running scheme that will complement you blocking blitzes and destroying guys in Madden.